Alright, today what I want to show you is how to load 35mm film into a 35mm camera. You'll notice that the canisters that you may see may have a name on there. Realize that the reason for that is, is because we reuse these canisters, so don't worry about a name on there. You can always relabel on top of that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is to learn how to open the camera. The, the best way is take this little handle right here, just a little lever, kind of slide it out like that. Take, take the knob and pull it straight up all the way like that and you'll, your camera will, will open. Okay. This is the interior of the 35mm camera. You can see how the shutter operates as you release the shutter button, which is here. And that's what you're looking at. So to load the film, simply raise this all the way. You'll notice there's a, a notch right here, and there's a notch right there. Notch, that little flat end, inserts on the top so that the notch of the, of the uh, rewind button inserts into that little notch. You'll notice that sometimes you'll have to uh, turn it a little bit. In other words, you may put it this way and it's not quite in that notch, but you'll feel it go down and that's good. That's what that's for. Now, pull your film out and you'll see this little tail which is cut like this and see these slots right here on this spool, on this take-up reel? You want to insert into a slot as far as you can. The trick is to make sure that you put a couple of fingers. See these little teeth, these little sprockets? You want to make sure that these, that's what these little holes are for, is they will catch that. So as you, as you advance the film using the advanced lever, your film will go on itself to where it's secure. Make sure that you notice I'm hitting the rewind or, or the uh, the uh, shutter button to activate so it goes over itself twice. Notice that it's flat against the sprockets and flat against the back of the camera. So you're ready to close the camera. Make sure the, the camera back is shut properly okay now you're ready to shoot but make sure several things one there's a little bitty window right here when you lift this ring up you can change the ASA remember we talked about film speed so you want your film speed at 400 that's the kind of film you have in here now this ring here indicates your uh, shutter speed for our purposes uh, we want to go to 125th and notice that most cameras will have it in red or orange. So this is a, a good shutter speed for general outdoor photography. There again, the, the aperture ring indicating your f-stop is right here. Remember their fraction, so the, the higher the number, the smaller the aperture. So for today, Set your aperture at f8, right next to that little orange line right there. f8, right there. You've got your, your film speed at ASA 400 and your shutter speed at 125th of a second. Now, with some cameras, for instance this, a Vivitar camera, some cameras, when this uh, film advance lever is depressed towards the camera, it locks, in other words, you can't shoot when this is locked towards that. That way, if you have it, if you have a strap or something or it hits that, you will not accidentally take a photograph. There again, your focus knob is here, and of course your viewfinder. And as you shoot, you simply advance the film. Notice this is turning. It means you know you have film in there. And shoot the film. 
this is a short roll for this demonstration, you will come to a point in your art making that the film will not be able to be advanced. In other words, you're done. Okay, with that frame. Okay. All right, there again, once you cannot advance the film anymore, you know you're through. So that's cool. And remember your settings. Now, bring the camera back to the lab. Bring it back to the classroom. Do not unload the film outside or in the field or wherever we happen to be, if we're in the Milgram Park or in the soccer fields. Bring the camera loaded with film back to the lab because it's critical that you don't drop or damage the film in transit. In other words, put it in your pocket or backpack. The important thing to remember when you're ready to unload the film or rewind the film is that under the camera you'll see a little button looks like this. That's called the rewind release button. Most cameras, once you push them, will lock in place. I'm in the habit of just keeping my finger on there. There again, go back to this rewind release handle. Get, get your handle like that, just like you did when you pulled the, the, uh, this up to get the film in there. Now, you obviously wouldn't want to pull it up now because your film is right here. With, with, the, with the rewind release button depressed, make sure you'll see a little arrow which indicates clockwise movement. Simply, you'll feel some tension. In other words, I'm rewinding it back into the film canister and then it'll get real, real easy to do. Once you know that, you know the film is safe in your canister. Then simply repeat the process by lifting this up all the way, open the camera, and there's your loaded film into your film canister. Simply get another label, place over this label, write your name, and put it in the appropriate film box on the shelf indicating your class period. Get everything ready so the next student that wants to use this camera is ready to go.